Not long ago, this little gem was a concrete shipping terminal totally closed off to the public. Fast forward a few years with a lot of hard work and some dedication, and the land has finally been returned to the people. Barangaroo is Sydney's newest suburb in this vibrant environment, offers some of the world-class restaurants, some of the most iconic views Sydney has to offer, and this green land, which is just a minute's walk from the CBD. This prime real estate on Sydney's harbour has had a colourful history. From indigenous homeland, shipping port, industrial wasteland, and now the site of a multi-million dollar regeneration and development. The six hectares of parkland known as Barangaroo Reserve forms the northern side of the precinct and has proudly maintained its indigenous links. With guides like Tim offering his services to make sure the heritage of the land is retained. We're actually keeping the culture alive in Sydney because, you know, you're in the middle of the largest city in Australia and yet we still got the, uh, we're still keeping the oldest living culture alive. So you're connecting the two histories, you're connecting the Aboriginal and colonial history. And to me that's a sign of unity in a way, so it's very important to us not only to keep the culture alive, but to include everyone uh, along the journey. Guides like Tim share their knowledge about everything from indigenous tools and weapons to local bird life and some fascinating tricks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these leaves up, yep. give them a bit of a squeeze, yeah, huh? and then if I could ask you to pour just a little bit of water in there, I'm going to show you how we catch fish. So what you do is, you would um, grab this on your hands, yep. and if we're near a swamp or a little creek or a pond, we place this into the water, it sucks the oxygen out of the water, and then every fish in that vicinity will be paralysed for about 20 seconds. So you grab whatever fish you need, then after that 20 seconds, the fish that you haven't grabbed will just simply wake up and swim away. South of the reserve is the retail and business side of Barangaroo. Jam-packed with everything from casual cafes to fine dining restaurants. Barangaroo House proudly sits somewhere in the middle. You know, this is what we call not fine dining. We call it uh, fun dining. Lots of shared food. Um, you know, you can come and have a couple of little entrees and share them. Um, but the big dishes, the signature dishes, are a big tomahawk, which you would you probably eat it by yourself, Chris. <laughs> um, and the most famous one, which is becoming our our uh, signature dish, is, is a whole roast duck. Oh, you like duck? Oh, I do. This is Matt Moran's latest venture, and he says there was no way he was missing out on a chance to be involved in what's emerging as one of the city's favourite new hangouts. It's amazing, mate. Three stories of absolute heaven. What made you bring it here? Mate, I call it uh, the house of fun. Um, look, uh, four years in the making. So I think I was the first person to sign down here and the last person to open. Um, obviously, I've got the biggest site, so it took a little bit longer to build. But look, to me, I think the area was just, you know, ready for it. It's, uh, you've got 25,000 people working above you. Um, you're right on the water, you've got a ferry service. You know, it was just the, the perfect spot. Oh, look at this. <laughs> you know how I eat. I should probably do this in my napkin. Look at that. Hey? Oh, now, the, the great thing about this, Chris, is what we do, we actually dry age the actual ducks. We hang them up, uh -huh. so the skin goes really dry, yeah. and then when you roast them, it becomes really crisp. So you get that beautiful, it's not like a Chinese duck. How long, do you, how long do you dry age it for? About two weeks. And that's honey and cayenne pepper. This is skin. Oh. That's phenomenal. Mm. That is really, really good. Then there's the stylish little boutiques dotted around the suburb, like Shirt Bar, an interesting concept blending food, fashion, and your favorite drink into one experience. Yeah, what made you to do this? Oh, look, my dad's been making, don't mind me, no. uh, my dad's been making shirts since uh, 1974, uh -huh. Danton shirts. Yeah. And uh, we decided about eight years ago, if we were going to do a shirt store, we'd have to make it a bit more of an experience. Right, so you're thinking guys that don't generally like shopping, how are you going to get them buying? Absolutely. Come and have a drink, come and hang out, coffee, maybe a shot of whiskey or a cocktail. 
Good cocktail list. Absolutely. Would you like to try a whiskey one? blend? Yeah, we've got, oh. a, got all, all of the trimmings. I'm in. A little tailoring over here, a little cocktail making over there. And then the time that it takes me to whip on a few shirts, voila. Decision made and a drink to celebrate. <laughs> How does this shine? Justin, can I rent a room upstairs? Penthouse? Oh, oh.